Hello you plonkers, welcome to grading AFL teams off seasons. I am a certified AFL genius, I know everything about every team, every player, any opinion outside of mine is wrong. I know everything about AFL, don't question me. First off, yes my beanie is the same as my shirt, I remain faithful to the corrupt FMs. If you hear any noises from outside the parameters, it's my mum in the kitchen making a chicken tikka masala. So let's get in to grading AFL teams off season then, shall we? Let's do it. <laughs> Alphabetical order. So we're starting off with the Adelaide Crows, aka the Adelaide Poo off season. <laughs> lost any bets. Cam Yellis Molman, Hugh Greenwood, Sammy Sauce, Jacobos, Josh Jenkins, Alex Keith, and a 2020 first round draft pick selection. They're going through a rebuild. I'm grading this on, are they ready for the next season? No, they're going to get fucking tramped on, mate. They got in Billy Frampton. Who is he? Billy Frampton? More like Billy Craypot. <laughs> Crows, you did shit. You're getting a D. Up next, the Brisbane Lions. Right, so the bloody Adelaide Crows have only given bloody the bloody Brisbane Lions Cam Yellis moment. They got Callum Archie. Uh, the only thing I know about Archie is Archery. I'm pretty sure his brother or cousin or uncle or some shit did a big handball a couple of years ago. And that's all I know about the Archies. As I said, I know everything about every AFL player team, bloody commentator and goat. We got Grant Birchall. I heard he's got a bit of osteoarthritis. So we'll see how he goes this season. Bloody dinosaur. <laughs> They lost Tom Cutler, more like Tom cut out of the Brisbane side, who even I are. Exactly. Who is he? Yeah, irrelevant. Lewis Taylor, he looks like a bloody Irish dancer. So, it's not a loss for me as a football expert. They did all right. C minus because they they want to make the premiership push. And they strengthened with Cammy Allen and Handball Boy. But yeah, C minus for the Brisbane Lions. Actually, I'm a bit disappointed actually, in fact. Da 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 da! Carlton are overhyped. They got Eddie Betts back. That's pretty cool. Kick some pretty good goals like this one. <laughs> they got Mark Pitonet. They lost Andrew Phillips, but who is he? Anyone with the name of Andrew is a wanker anyway. It's a bit of a like, you know what I mean? Blues get a D. Good old Collingwood forever, more like good old Collingwood not for long, because they had a bloody average off season, didn't they? Darcy Cameron, right, is your name Darcy or is it Cameron? Choose one. My granddad said never trust someone with two first names, especially someone called Darcy, yeah? If your name's Darcy, click off this video right now, I don't want you here. <laughs> they got a couple of draft picks and they lost James H to the best team in the AFL. They didn't get rid of Mason Cox either, which apparently they wanted to do. He gets hated on a lot. I think he's alright, you know what I mean? They're still a strong side, you know, they're still going to be good next season, so I'm, I'm just going to give them a, a C. The Essington Bombers, they played hardball this off-season, yeah? Joe Danaher, yeah, a couple of seasons back, he was bloody on fire, mate. He was bloody as red hot as these bloody curtains, yeah? And you know what? They kept Joe Danaher. Oh, what a the old hand Asia wants to go back to South Australia. Yeet. Hardball, motherfuckers. He's staying. They might just have a good season this year. They might want to stay. So good job to the Bombers. They had a good off season. They also got Tom Cutler and Andrew Phillips. They did well, the Bombers. You know what? You're getting a, you're getting a bloody B. The best team in the AFL, the Fremantle Dockers. They had an all right off season. Nah, they had a bloody good off season, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, they did, right? Because basically, we got Akers, and he looks pretty good from the um, three-minute highlights I saw of him. I mean, the deep analysis that I had put into him for this. But we lost Ed Langdon on this bloody flank, and Brad Hill on this one. But the thing is, we've never really had a strong winger, which Blake Akers is. And I'm sure we can find another bloody fast person. There's a lot of fast people out there. Ed Langdon was one of my favourite players off-season, and he's going to be a great addition to the Melbourne D-Dogs. Brad Hill, you know what? He runs. He was one of our best players last year. But Blake Akers runs as well. He runs the bloody Akers, mate. We needed that, you know, strong midfielder who's versatile, can play in the middle and on the wing. We need bodies. We were made of weak boys last season. I felt. Also got James Aish, is it? Is that his name? James Aish, yeah? Not bad. Plus, we bloody took all the draft picks from St Kilda as well. Pick 10, we got bloody 22, 58, 69. Oh, we got all the picks, all the important ones. Go to the Dockers, you get the bloody P plus, boys. Good job.
The Geelong Cats. The Geelong Cats got Josh Jenkins, Jack Stephen, pick 14, pick 24. Oh, shit. Oh. They got rid of Tim Kelly, which is a big out, but it doesn't matter when you got that. Go Selwood. Patrick Dangerfield. Geelong are a good side. Adding Jack Stephen is only going to strengthen that. Yeah, they lost Sim Kelly. Who bloody cares? If you didn't want to be there, you can bun off anyway. Geelong had a good off season. B plus for Ge the, the, the Geelong boys because they, they did good, I think. Everyone's favourite team, the Gold Coast Suns, had an okay off season. They got Brandon Ellis from Richmond. My man's is secure in the bag. He's going to live in the heat and he's going to have a bloody good time. Hugh Greenwood, I've heard the name. I mean, I know he's a very good player and he'll do well there. Zach Smith, pretty average. Actually, I actually do know him. Probably better than half the players that Gold Coast have. But the main thing, they didn't lose a lot of players this offseason. Gold Coast are slowly improving and they've been given out pick one and pick two. They did all right. They just signed that kingy fella as well. I'll give him a C plus. Good job. The Greater Western Sydney Giants. They got the sauce, their big Sammy sauce, tomato, ketchup, but they lost a couple of players like uh, Aiden Boner, <laughs> Jonathan Patton, Adam Tomlinson, pick 12. <laughs> Shit. They needed the Ruckman and, and Sam Jacobs has filled that void, so I'm going to give them a C plus as well. Hawthorne, the best team of this decade. They got Sam Frost. I don't know if he's a spot or not. I mean, he's a, quite a good player. Um, quite solid. Gets the uh, good um, gets hits hits it out of the back line and kicks it out, and he's a very good goal defender. Jonathan Patton, solid forward on his day. They lost Grant Birchall though, and that will put a bloody dent right in their season. Nothing bad, nothing good. She brush, she brush again. North Melbourne Kangaroos. Shout out, Young King Cookson. My boy, how you doing? Sling us a DM. I miss you. They got Aiden Bonar. And just for that, they're getting an A. I'm not saying anything else. That's it. Done. The Melbourne Demons. Shout out, Caden. If you're watching, Caden, how's it going? Yeah? Sling us a DM. I miss you. <laughs> Fuck's sake. See, they got Ed Langdon, one of my favourite players last season. Melbourne Demons weren't very demonic last season, so they need to be bloody good again, don't they? That's as, as simple as it is, really. Ed Langdon, Adam Tomlinson, they lost Sam Frost. They've got pick three and pick eight in the draft as well. Like, that's pretty fucking good, I think, because, like, draft, you, like, want low numbers, not the high numbers, because the low numbers mean so that you get the good ones, not the... They did good, they get a B. <laughs> Now we're on to the Port Adelaide Power. Hey, Pear, how you doing? If you're watching this, sling us the <laughs> I'm such a fuckwit. What am I doing? <laughs> oh, I need to get a life, eh? At the start of the trade period, I was like, right, they're going to get bloody old eyes, old Yeah, they're going to have a Thanks good off-season. If they get him, he's a good player, isn't he? They didn't bloody get him, did they? Really, they didn't have to do really good. They got pick 12 and pick 18, but they lost Billy Frampon, Dougal Howard, who I hear is a good player. Paddy Ryder, he was good in 2011, 2010. Like, he got shot on by Sean Darcy and Brennan Cox last year when they played the Dockers in the ruck. So that's pretty embarrassing, isn't it? So Paddy Ryder isn't as good, so I don't think that's as much as a loss, but really, you got Scott Lysett anyway, so you should be right, isn't it? But yeah, pretty disappointing for the Port Adelaide Power, and just because I don't really like the Power, I'm going to give him a D. D for Dong. Right, Richmond won the Premiership last year. Yellow and black, yeah? I stayed in Richmond recently. Very nice little part of Melbourne town. But they won the flag. They didn't need to do anything. They get Alex Rance back. They won a flag. Like, if you win a flag, surely you just don't even care. So, on the basis of that, I'm just going to give them a C with a premiership. Yeah? So, they've probably had the best off season. Because they've probably been on the piss, love and life, just being premiers. And I wouldn't know what that feels like. Or you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. <laughs> but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Right, back into the action with the St. Kilda Saints. The St. Kilda Saints signed Bradley Hill from the Fremantle Dockers because Bradley Hill's missus wanted to go back to Victoria. Bruz, Perth is the best city in Australia. Why would you want to leave? Stop following your balls. Follow your heart, bro. Your bloody family's here. You got Michael Walters here. You got Adventure World. What more could you want? <laughs> so they got Dan Butler. He's a good player. Yes, he's good. I know him. Brad Hill. <laughs> Dougal Howard, who I said was good last um, team for Adelaide, I think he's good. I've heard he's good. I mean, I know he's good. Zach Jones, hard man. Yeah, Paddy Ryder. Sorry, 2011 called. They want their up and back. <laughs> but they lost Blake Akers, Josh Bruce, Jack Stephen. They've lost important players, but they've got other players in. So it's like... <laughs> got quite a lot done, though. You know, they're making strides to become a better side. So you know what? I'm going to give you an A-. minus. St. Kilda, you, you did a lot. You're making strides. You're showing... um, What's the word I'm looking for? Hey Google, give me a word for good. 
Chlamydia. Yeah. There you go. That word. That was the word I was looking for. Sydney, Sydney, Sydney. Swan, swan, swan. They got Lewis Taylor, but he'll be too busy at the bloody Irish pubs in Sydney doing these ones. <laughs> Yes, they got Lewis Taylor, but you know what? They would absolutely leech it onto Joe Danaher. Even Caden McDonald said he didn't play for the Dons. Now he's going to play for the Swans or something along those lines in the AFL 2019 parody song. Check it out. It's a good tune. And if you don't like it, you don't have a good taste in music and you can lick his super sausage. If you know, you know. They lost Darcy Cameron. Who is he? Oh, he's that bloke that I was saying before. He has two first names. He's a wanker. Doesn't matter. Zach Jones. He just looks hard. So on the basis of that, that's a big loss. Yeah, they didn't do much. They're going to get a D. I don't care for the Swans right now. They have a good... I like their players. They have some good young players. But yeah, they're not going to be doing much in the next three years. So, you know, <laughs> next. The West Coast Eagles. More like the West Cocaine using drug cheats. <laughs> <laughs> Dogs. All I'm gonna say, they got Tim Kelly. They've strengthened their team, ready to win a premiership next year. This is the Eagles. This is the 2020 season. Yeah, they're gonna smash it. As much as I hate to say it, Eagles are gonna do well next season. They're prepared. They're fucking going for it. Yeah, and I don't see who's gonna stop them. And I'm shitting myself. And I don't want the season to ever start because the Eagles are probably going to have another flag. I don't care about anything else they've done. They've strengthened their team to win a flag. A for the Eagles. A plus. I don't care. They've got the highest rank. Whatever. I don't care. You're a bunch of meth heads. I don't fucking care. I don't fucking care. I don't care. <laughs> right, the Western Bulldogs. Yeah, they got Josh Bruce. Overrated player, if you ask me. Yeah, I said it. Who cares? <laughs> Alex Keith. Again, has two first names. They're already a strong side. Nothing exciting, though. It's something you must see. Plus, because they didn't weaken, but they didn't strengthen. So, yeah, that'll do it. Thank you for listening to my opinions on AFL teams off seasons. If you could smash like and get this video to 100 likes, that would be pretty cool. Check out my video with Katie McDonald and Austin Cookson playing AFL Horse. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my old videos. They're fucking class. And I'll see you in the next video. See you later.